Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at episode 7 of Into Another World with my smartphone. So this week's episode was pretty interesting. I mean, Kirito 2.0, or I mean Toya, I'm sorry. Dude, like, come on man, now you're just getting super power. Like, I mean, before you were powerful already, but now you're becoming 10 times... I would love to see... Someone needs to do this. Someone needs to make a flash animation or an animation in general, whatever you can do, of Kirito versus Toya. And I'm pretty damn sure Toya's gonna win. Just for the sheer fact that this guy can do everything. He not only can copy other people's moves, like he copied this weird new girl that we meet that's got twin tails who looks like apparently, well apparently doesn't, doesn't age. She's some kind of witch of some sort. Uh, she's like 600 years old, but she looks like she's still like 13, 14 years old at max. Um, you know, she copies his, he copies her move where he learns to program things and is able to actually alter various forms and stuff like that by manipulating them with words and actions, which then leads him to making guns and then making a gun blade. I'm like, okay. And apparently you can reload it by just saying reload and all the bullets go into it. I mean, that was cool. I won't lie. That was pretty damn cool. But this show is getting very ridiculous very fast and not in a good way. I mean, like... Dude, chill out with the superpowers, okay? I mean, you learned Excel, where apparently you can now move super fast and the speed of light. You know, dude, you're gonna be able to fight everything. Like, what is this? What's this dude's weakness gonna be? Is it that he's gonna lose his phone at one point, or is God gonna tell him, "Hey, listen, you know what? I made you too powerful. I'm sorry. I gotta take away some of those powers." Like, that's my expectation. I never got that far into the uh, light novels to even know what happens beyond a certain point. So I, I don't know what's gonna happen to our main Mantoya. But if he continues getting this powerful. What's going to be a threat against him unless it's someone else that has lived? Is there ever going to be a threat in the show? Maybe that's a better question. I don't think so. But overall, though, it was still a solid episode. I still enjoyed the hell of it. It was, you know, the new girl seems interesting. He's twin-tailed and a lowly, apparently, but she seems interesting in her own right. And I won't lie, I mean, the sword thing is cool. I, I wish that I, I wish other shows did that with the sword that transforms into a gun and all that other stuff. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, other other games and stuff, I've done that before, but... Not with the ability to like sh shape shift in that way. That was pretty cool. I won't lie. I think a lot of people will agree with that. But yeah, Kirito 2.0, or I'm sorry again, Toya. I keep I keep calling him Kirito 2.0. Why why do I keep doing that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it wasn't a bad episode. It, it, he's an interesting character. I'm getting kind of tired of some of his antics, but I, I don't hate this show. I know a lot of people hate this show. I think it's an okay show overall. I would love to know what you guys thought so far with the show. Have you dropped it completely? Are you still watching, etc.? I would love to hear you from you in the comments below. I am done with my reviews today, I believe, unless something other pops up out of nowhere, and I hope not because I've already done three reviews today. I'll talk to you guys then. Have a great, blessed day, everyone. God bless you all. Bye-bye.